Welcome to Charter Local Edition. I'm Tracy Young. Our guest is Dr. Christine D. She's an assistant professor of kinesiology and nutritional science at Cal State Los Angeles. And she joins us to discuss how the work both the professors and students are doing at the university is truly changing the lives of people with spinal cord injuries. Nice to have you with us, doctor. Thank you. I think, um, tell me what a spinal cord injury is, because many times I think that we think if somebody incurs a spinal cord injury, that's it for them. They're possibly going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of their lives. But science is changing, That's and you're right. here to talk about what it is. So That's tell right. me what a spinal cord injury really is. So a spinal cord injury is damage to the spinal cord in which there's an impairment of the signals coming from the brain to the rest of the body. So a person with a spinal cord injury may have some difficulty in controlling voluntary control their, of their muscles below the level, level of their injury. So they're not as flexible and they don't have control, or they don't have like the muscle tone? There's, they may have um, lots of different kinds of loss of function. It's, some is voluntary control, some is a loss of muscle tone weakness. Uh -huh. And paralysis it often occurs. Um, but there's some misconceptions about what a person with a spinal cord injury can or can't do or should or shouldn't do. And, and dispel some of those for us, if you would. So uh, one of those things that I, I think um, I feel very strong about is that a person with a spinal cord injury isn't just shouldn't just stay in their don't wheelchair. Give up. Don't give up. Don't just stay in your wheelchair. Um, it's important to exercise. It's important to stay active, um, both for physical fitness and health, and also for just emotional and. Yeah, I think about us. Obviously, it's important for us to get exercise every day. But I can only imagine for somebody if you're sitting stationary all the time, yeah. injury or not, that's not good for your health, is it? No, it's not. And a lot of times, uh, it's often so difficult for people with an injury with a physical disability to get exercise. To access, probably. To, to have access to places that um, it's safe for them to exercise, that they feel comfortable being there. Right. And the places that specialize in working with physical disabilities, well, those places are rare commodities. They're few and far between. And for someone with an injury, um, if they can find a place that to go to to exercise, and there's places all over Los Angeles, but... But getting there, of course, could be a challenge in and of itself, much less when you're there. Yeah. So you have this really interesting story that happened. It was a little girl that when she was four, she was yeah. in a car accident. Some of her other family members had some medical problems, yeah. no question, but they recovered from them. Unfortunately, this girl was paralyzed from the waist down. Right. She's now nine. She came to you guys about, what, two, two years, years ago. ago. How different is she when she came to you guys, and how different is she today? Tell me about this success. So she is amazing. We met her when she was about eight years old, mm -hmm. and um, she had function on her arms and of her upper body, but below the level of her, her waistline, you know, her legs, she didn't have a lot of voluntary control. Her muscles were soft. She didn't have a lot of muscle tone, and she didn't have a lot of motor coordination. So we started working with her. We started uh -huh. training with her. We did, um, in my lab, we specialize in what's called locomotor training. Okay. If that's Loco, is that like a locomotion? I yes, think it's okay. movement. Yeah, it's movement, it's walking. It's, re uh, it's a rehabilitation um, intervention in which we retrain the spinal cord to walk. Oh, really? You retrain the spinal cord to walk? Yeah, so the way that we do it is on a body weight support system on a treadmill and a person strapped into a body harness and we work with them with their capability, with their level of ability. So we displace a certain amount of their body weight uh -huh. and I have um, trainers in my lab, student trainers, that help to make this a safe, a safe and accessible form and of And how is she walking. doing today? So she, uh, I have a story where I showed the director of my program, Dr. Ray DeLeon, a video of her and he said, "Who? wow, this is the same girl? This is amazing. She can." She has a lot of, so a lot more independent control. So she made tremendous progress yeah. by spending a couple of years with you yeah. and your students. Yeah, she has a lot so, more but, independent So function. don't give up. No, the bottom don't. line is if you have a spinal cord injury, there's great work being done at Cal State Los Angeles. Yes, right. right. Thank you. Thanks for joining that great story Thank with us. You. We really appreciate it. Thank you for watching Charter Local Edition. I'm Tracy Young. Bravo 2, Bravo 2, this is Ripper 1-9. We're being cut to pieces. We got tanks in the wire and we're bingo on ammo. We need immediate backup. What the heck are you? Uh, gotta hold up, Ripper. My mom's streaming a TV can't come on. My sister's redesigning her block again. You're gonna have to hang tight till they log off. Sorry, dude. Over. Don't let your family hold you back. With Charter Internet, you get faster speeds with more bandwidth, so everyone can do what they want, when they want.